I know it's been some time since I've done a video and you'll have to excuse me because when you film you're supposed to have the sun behind the camera which means that I've got it right in my eyes and if I put the sun visor up <laughs> you might prefer that actually with my face completely in the shade but uh, yeah, don't comment on that please I don't even go down that road okay so <clears throat> first off <clears throat> um, I would like to say that I had the car cleaned specifically for this video but unfortunately I had to go and get it cleaned um, because uh, rather stupidly, well it wasn't stupidly, I didn't really have a lot of option, but I had left it parked under uh, a load of trees over the weekend and the local birds just, they annihilated it. It was a complete mess this morning. God knows what them birds had been eating but it didn't look a pretty sight, it really didn't. Anyway, as I say, it's been a while since I've done a video and um, I got a comment, I've got my laptop here, I keep looking down at my laptop, I got a comment through which I'm just going to bring up from Robert. Uh, thank you for commenting Robert, thank you for watching, I'm glad you enjoy the videos and thanks for re-watching them because obviously that helps the channel, so well done. Um, but Robert obviously, you know, he mentions it's a long time since I've done a video um, and are there any more in the pipeline? Well there is one in the pipeline um, coming up but it is it's one of the hardest things when you're doing videos is finding good content to do the video on. I don't want to keep making videos that are pretty much about nothing because they're of no interest to anyone and obviously there's only a certain amount of stuff that you can do on a car so um, if anyone's got any sort of ideas for videos they would like, then please leave them in the comments box and I'll see what I can do. But um, you know, if there's something I can cover or something you'd like some information on, then please let me know and I'll be quite happy to, to do a, a video. Um, so there is, as I said, there is one more definitely in the pipeline. And before I go on to that, I would like to do a quick mention for the company I work for and they're kind of my sponsors because obviously if I wasn't working wouldn't have the money to do these videos and make these videos and they've been kind enough to actually start um, buying me some more cameras and bits and pieces to work with and they've also got contacts with professional editing company um, so I might be able to get some help with editing the videos so a quick thank you to Career Aspects. They are international education consultants and essentially what they do is help international students find and secure placements in UK universities. So if anyone out there watching wants to come and study in the UK or they know someone that would like to come and study in the UK, I'll put a link in below, I'll put something on here and um, one of the things I do for the company is I help them with making videos so I will put one of my videos from the company at the end of this video if anyone would like to go and watch it so thank you for that for that over so um, yeah the one that's in the pipeline um, is the front bumper uh, another comment from Robert or a follow-up comment from Robert is how's the car been running and holding up. Uh, always makes me laugh because I'm always <laughs> probably a bit superstitious. I'm always wary of saying the car is fine because as soon as you say that something normally goes wrong with it. But um, the car has been running very well really. Um, I, As you guys know as I've covered before I tend to follow a sort of a routine. Um, and I view the winter months. The winter months are never good for making videos to start off with because the weather's rubbish. Um, and it's always a time that the car is, all, is you know, is suffering. It's most it's out in the weather. It's, it's suffering the elements. You can't work on it much during the winter months. So you kind of get through those. So um, had a couple of small issues with the car. Um, I'll start with the easiest one which is this window, the rubber 
on this window um, started jamming when the window went down the rubber curled inwards and almost jammed the wheel window completely so started off initially by trying to adjust the window to resolve the problem um, and that didn't really help it put it right for about a week and then it started jamming again so what we did is I went and got I'll just hold it up there on this camera for you I ordered so this I'll, I'll put up the um, uh, page for this I, as you know I use eBay a lot uh, this is silicon grease uh, it's about it's two pound for two tubes and you just wipe it on you just wipe it on I, I cleaned I cleaned all the rubber up first with just some basic uh, all-purpose cleaner and then applied the grease and it's been fine ever since no problem and it doesn't leave any marks on your window so that's pretty cool um, so moving on to the next uh, issue I had with it really is uh, I had a bulb go in the rear number plate light and I unscrewed them to change the bulb and the, the plastic basically just old and brittle and just all broke up and disintegrated so I checked the other one and that was pretty much in the same state so uh, I replaced those with new um, because the problem with plastic parts, if you get second hand, is where they're old, they can also, because they're plastic, they can be just as brittle and um, break and fall to pieces on you when you're trying to fit them. So with plastic parts, especially with interior trim, which makes it really good, it's better if you can to try and get new. Plastic doesn't really age particularly well. Um, you can get the LEDs, why I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really think, I went and bought originals, 70 quid. But you can get um, LED replacements on eBay, and I'll put the page up, uh, for about a tenner I think for the pair. So that's a better value because obviously the LED is going to last a hell of a lot longer. And final and last, which is comes back to the video that is in the pipeline to be done, is the front bumper now I mentioned in a couple of the other videos that the problem with the front bumper is I say it's low but it's not so much it's low it's not actually that low but it's where the front of the car sticks out a lot you get a lot of movement when you go up and down bumps um, we've got three real problems with the, the bumper which is the main um, crack that I did in it when I hit the kerb and the little scuffs on the bottom and then the stone chips so the little scuffs are on the bottom of like when you catch speed bumps and things obviously the big ones where I uh, hit a curb when I was parking which I don't do that often and the stone chips are from uh, motorway work so with the exception of the big one which I'm going to have to get some resin to fill and repair that the scrapes I generally just use body filler and the stone chips the paint actually fills it as I said in the previous video I use uh, <coughs> I use a, a brush on water based um, satin black which can be used on wood metal can be used indoors and outdoors um, again using the brush it washes out in water you if you've got a nice steady hand you don't need to mask it up obviously the top of the crack is in the silver so uh, I've, so I shall repair that with a, a spray can now obviously spray cans have their limitations I will go into that when we do the video on the bumper on repairing the bumper in a few weeks But I knew that bumper was not going to be an easy thing to live with, which is why I kind of worked the bottom of the bumper in a way that you can repair sort of ongoing damage on it. One of those things, if you want that kind of bumper, you've got to suffer that kind of life. So I'll bring you a video on repairing that bumper. Not going to do it just yet because I'm waiting. It's a beautiful day today lovely spring day today 
but we're still in a kind of area where the weather can turn on you very quickly so I want to just wait a little bit longer cold weather damp weather is definitely not the weather to be doing body work not at all okay I like Robert's comment about looking back at the car I must admit something I don't know why I do it but the other night I was parked in town and the car I was parked directly excuse the phone I was parked directly under a street lamp and you've got all the neon lights from the buildings around and the car looked absolutely stunning and I thought I should take a picture of it and put it on like Instagram or Facebook or something like that and I didn't I don't know why and now I could kick myself because I should have because the car looked really really fantastic and it does when you get situations like that it does remind you you tend to forget when you own the car you tend to forget how good it looks and how special it is to other people and when you get those situations where it really does stand out it kind of reminds you what you've got so you know yeah that is a pretty cool thing and uh, it is a very true statement okay um, also Robert mentions about the cost of, of um, maintaining one of these and yeah it's a double-edged sword there because I get a lot of comments that say things like you know well if you can't afford to maintain the car properly you shouldn't have it and it, well it's the definition of maintaining the car properly if you're not wasting unnecessary money on unnecessary stuff then you are maintaining it properly and we've all got to you know it's it's unrealistic to be like that because if the world was really like that we would all be driving brand new Porsches and we'd all be changing them one day before the warranty run out so that is nonsense so everything like I've mentioned with the the tail lights like I've mentioned with the the grease for the window and I will cover it when we when repairing the front bumper something I always try and do in my videos is look at it from a cost point of view a realistic cost point of view as well because even if you have got the money I'm sure there's better things you could spend the money on so right I'm rambling on a bit let's get to the list I have a list let's get onto the list and, and uh, focus on what we were going to try and cover in this video so we've covered we've, we've covered the um, the fact that I don't work on the car much over the winter and I don't make a lot of videos over the winter We've covered the, the only that, the only three real issues the cars had over the, in, the winter months, which is the front bumper. It's not really winter related. That's always an ongoing problem. It's something you've got to live with. Uh, we've covered the window and we've covered the tail lights. Apart from that, the car's been good as gold. We're coming into April, so with my routine, what happens in April is you do the, the service, your oil change, your plugs, your filters, those sort of things and I like to get the car professionally cleaned a proper good quality valet on the car get rid of all the crap from the winter and then you start tidying up the paintwork hence doing the bumper and any chips marks scratches so the car's really on top form for the summer and show season really that just brings us on to the future the interior is pretty much there I put the leather door panels in the car um, I didn't make a video on that because I mean basically it's a, like it's like four or five screws and then you just unpop the clips around it they are so simple it's five minutes to get them off so you'd be like an hour an hour and a half to make a video um, for a five minute job but if you would like a video on removing the door panels then let me know and I will do one I'll make one for you because taking the door panel off is not a massive not a massive deal at all um, so the interior seats are in the seats are done I've got the covers on them I always keep covers on them the leather door panels are in the center consoles done the gear change isn't done yet I have a, a, another gearbox uh, another gear not gearbox another a gear selector unit whatever you want to call it that a, another subscriber kindly gave to me it has a lot less play in mine if you can hear mine rattling around there um, 
Um, and I want to put a short shift lever into that and then swap that over and then put a new gear change knob onto it so that, that looks nice and that. The lever dash has got to be finished. Uh, I've mentioned this again in a video before. I don't realistically think I'm going to have the time to do it myself so it's probably going to have to be farmed out to somebody else to do. But that's got to go in. And I would like to get the red seat belts at some point. That's pretty much the interior done. The outside really is just that I want the rear spoiler. So that's things I would like to do. Hopefully some of that might get done in the summer. Um, the last thing is of course getting, getting back to why it's been so long since I've made videos. I want to try, something I asked Robert was what he liked about my videos because one of the things that stunned me this channel was never really ever planned as a channel it was something my nephew actually kicked it all off um it was just a bit of fun filming a car and, and he came up with the idea of putting it on youtube and that's where it all really started um and built up for that and I, so yeah you know, i'm quite taken back and stunned by the amount of subscribers and followers that I've I've got it always amazes me I think why would people want to sit and watch me ramble on for hours on end um, and so the, the, the channels kind of have, have grown from that and I want to try as I mentioned earlier on I want to try and bring worthwhile content I don't want to just make videos for the sake of making videos that are about nothing to start off with I want to try and you know I've, I've, I've done a couple of courses and things I've started reading up about using b-roll um, uh, thank you again to my company because I now have a gimbal to use with the, the mobile phone which hopefully will be smoother footage when you move I've started learning about using a balance of static shots and camera movements uh, how to use b-roll and I've tried to think the videos through to as Robert said to try and show the details show the things that you you need to know the things you want to know without a video dragging out and being really long and boring and that's not easy to do because obviously that then means it takes longer to set the cameras up takes longer to get the shots takes longer to edit um, so it makes the process a lot longer as I said with the door panel it's five minutes to get the door panel off but you can end up if you film it you can end up spending like an hour and a half setting up your cameras and getting your camera angles and, and getting your B footage and then re-recording that and the other thing is that I do struggle with the audio um, again thank you to my company they bought me some uh, Rode microphones but they haven't really seemed to have helped sort the audio out that much um, but we'll keep working away at it. So anyway, that's enough for me rambling on. I think I've covered everything. Uh, it might have been a bit disjointed and out of order. I'll try and put it back into order when I edit it. Um, hopefully, end of April, we'll do the bumper maybe sooner, uh, if possible. Um, and I'll bring you that. And if there's anything else that obviously comes to mind that's worth filming, I shall bring that for you too. As always, I hope you found this video interesting and not too boring. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. Um, and, okay, so, yeah, that's it really. So, please click the like. Um, obviously, that helps the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please let me know what you think in the comments box because I, I make these videos for you guys and I want to try and you know give you more of what you what you want uh, and better quality so any suggestions can help and anything you'd like to see um, please share the videos and of course now we've got this you can click this notification bell so that when the videos do come out you will be um, notified 
and please pop over and have a look at Career Aspects TV which is a channel I'm setting up and working on for my company okay so until the next video drive safe see you later guys